Welcome to In the Kitchen with Rosie. I'm your hostess, Rosie Bush, and today I'm going to show you a recipe that's great when you've been out all night like I have, drinking and partying and carrying on. You want something cheap, fast and easy, and you want something to eat too. So I'm going to show you both, starting with my guest who is cheap, fast and easy, Tragique de Stranger. <laughs> Tragique, where are you? Ooh. Oh, oh. Time is it? It's 5 p.m. Uh, 5 p.m. in the means Yeah, nothing. we've been out since 7 p.m. yesterday. Oh, yeah. yeah. How's my hair? It looks okay, but there's some, um, I think there's a bird in here. Oh, a bird. Or a little owl. It's, it's a little, I like your hooter. It's Birdita. I met her in the park last night. Oh, what'd you guys do? I don't know. I don't remember his name. <laughs> I don't remember most of last night either. Okay. Um, I'm gonna make ramen. Ramen? Yeah, I you're love, gonna make it too. You're gonna make it. <laughs> I wouldn't trust me near ramen. I almost burned down my house with ramen one night. Oh. Never forget to watch your ramen when you get home from the club. I remember that night. I remember that. We had a GoFundMe. Oh. It was tragic. It was tragic, <laughs> like your name. Tragic. So ramen's Wait. usually pretty simple. Much just like me. Yeah. Water, noodles, water. a packet of something, mystery seasoning. <laughs> mystery yeah. seasoning. We're going to use it though. I'm good with little baggies. I'm using Sapporo Ichiban. My favorite brand of ramen noodle. Sapporo. Oh, you see this name. I'm trying to get a deal in Japan, you know. <laughs> Advertising I'm, deal. I'm huge in Japan. I'm huge in Japan. Then you can say <laughs> that. Exactly. I'm huge in Japan. They're all the Sapporo beer. Sapporo beer. Sapporo beer. Yeah, here's Another yours. Sponsorship. Have some of the dog that. Um, the hair of the dog your, that licked yes, me. I don't know. There we go. There you go. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Mm. That's how you want to start your ramen making some beer. Domo Origato Sapporo. Oh. Let's open this up. You're gonna turn on your heat source. We're using a camping stove. <laughs> <laughs> like I do at home every day to heat up my beans and vittles. So just put in two cups of water. Um, if it's over two cups, it doesn't matter. Uh, you want that kind of because you're gonna forget about it exactly. at some point. That's what happened. I almost mm -hmm. burned down the apartment. Yep. And apartments yep. are not cheap. Um, so you're going to wait for this to boil, and while you're doing that, let's chop up the veggies that we need for this. Okay, let's We're do that. some veggies in. Uh, veggies and eggs. Huevos and vegetales. Okay. Some scallions or some green onions. Um, we're going to cut those on the bias. Do you know what that means? I, I'm not really that biased. I, I try to keep an open mind about everything. Keep an open mind about scallions. Okay. They're really good. It means that the slant is slanted. Right? The slanted. So you just, do you know how to use a knife? I don't want you cutting yourself on I live TV. I do. It's I mean, live TV. I spent 12 <laughs> years on parole because of one of these okay. things. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you never, never take a bitch's money. Just, cut, this bitch. <laughs> just <laughs> cut the ends off right here. Right here? Uh huh. Oh! Yeah, yeah. And then just keep cutting. You know, they don't have to be on the bias. Just cut. <laughs> As long as we got oh. some scallions, we're good. That's right, Ray. Ever fuck with me again, Ray. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one's a little big. That's fine. You know, I usually cut them into pieces that are more, you know, garnishy, but that's fine. That's fine. It's hearty. Yeah, it's hearty. It's a hearty meal it's for a rustic girl. Soup. <laughs> um, this one, yeah, I'm going to do this. We're just going to cut this one. Because right you don't want too many stems. You never want too many stems or seeds. Or seeds. You don't want stems or seeds. Actually, this is too much stem too. This was to, you just take some of the stem off. Sure, I can handle that. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna dunk these noodles in here. Um, the brick o noodles that we all love. That's what my hair looks like when it's dried out. Mm -hmm. um, it says three minutes, but you know what? You'll get to them when you get to them. Just don't fall asleep. Just don't fall asleep. Or pass out, as I like mm -hmm. to call it. Mm -mm. Uh, do you know what I like to put in here, too? 
sriracha. Oh, I love sriracha. Uh, I just put like a nice healthy schmidge. Smidge sriracha. Is, is that the culinary term? It is schmidge. Schmidge. I got my little, my big uh, chopsticks. You don't have to use chopsticks. I like the chopsticks when they're big. I, I know. <laughs> it's not true what they say about <laughs> men. It's not. <laughs> My show is going to get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're just going to let this go until, you know, it gets kind of uh, near being done. Okay. Um, oh, one more thing. Egg. Hard boiled egg. Um, the way I make hard boiled eggs, so that you don't get any of that nasty green, sulfury grossness around the edge, and they're perfectly yellow, is to uh, heat them up in the water, in the pan. Mm -hmm. Bring it to a boil, and then turn it off, put a lid on it, 12 minutes, they should be done. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Just set it and forget set it. it. And forget it. See, we're coming back. Turn yeah. on infomercial. Yeah. Ron Popeil. Ron <laughs> the Rosie Popeil. Bush home egg recipe. Yeah. Oh my god, I should have a rotisserie oven. You should. That you can fit a whole pig in. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Very popular and... Where we go? Take a couple of pigs. If that's true. I mean, technically, we are still allowed to make fun of Puerto Ricans and fat people. I heard about that. Yeah. Um, who said that? That was Jackie B. That was Jackie yes, B. Yes, it was. <laughs> it was when we were in LA and we saw Women Behind Bars, oh, starring Tracy Lord. I wish I could have seen this that. Coco Peru. Tracy Lord. Fantastic. Oh. She's a sweetheart. She really is. I'm sure she is. Hashtag Tracy Lords. So I just threw that spinach in. It wilted. I'm gonna throw these in. Um, however much you want. You, you just know, cook some people it all like together. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it couldn't be more simple. It's like a little uh, soup. <laughs> it's so simple. It's even like, trash you can do it. Even you can do it. I know. Huh. I put the packet in. It says to put the packet in at the end. Like with the heat off. So I don't know if there's some volatile substance in here that you can't boil, but I've been always, I've always boiled it. Well, I'd be very the, careful the around my hair. Yeah. If anything is exploding, I mean, I don't like too many explosions in my face. Well, yeah, except for in the park. Except for in the park. <laughs> um, this is done already. It's done already? Yeah. I didn't even have time to black out or anything. I know. We didn't have time to drink our beer. I didn't. I think we're just going to have a segment after this where we just drink beer. I like that idea. Uh -huh. Cheers. We're ready to plate this up. Or bowl this up. Yeah. I love bowls. Me too. Me too. I just had one before this too. Um, so I'm going to pour this in here. I'm sure it looks nice on camera. It smells delicious. Yeah, it smells really good. I love. It's nice to have fresh things in, you know, uh, packaged food like this. Oh, absolutely. Just add little, you know, fresh things, and I'll put the two little of these things on here. It looks adorable, and then I'm just gonna a little bit more sriracha. Just so pretty. I like that. Yeah. You'd have never thought that came out of a bag. I know. from the same bowl like dogs, is that fine? But that is absolutely okay. fine. I've been called way worse than mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Eaten ramen and drag. <laughs> <laughs> my hair got hot. Birdita was trying to get mm. in the action. Yeah, I almost ate my hair, but I can attest that this is very good, it is right? It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've never actually had vegetables and top ramen. Really? I haven't. Yeah. Yes. Do you know what you could even do too if you have extra chicken, like rotisserie chicken? Who's got extra chicken? Please. I don't know, skinny people have extra food in their house and you could put like extra chicken in here, like shred it up, um, mm. you have a steak. Steak. Cook okay. a steak, we don't have time for that. But if you did have time for that, you could make a steak, you could chop it up in there, anything, anything. Some Korean barbecue. 
You okay? Yes, I, I really just stopped myself. I just stopped myself <laughs> okay, from going okay. one one oh. toke over the line. Yeah, cancel. Sweet Asian, one toke okay, over the line. One toke over the line. Um, I like the eggs, you know? I like a vegetarian ramen. It's nice. Is it actually paper. vegetarian, though? Well, I don't know what's in that packet. <laughs> so probably not. There's probably fish. Uh, I'm assuming there's fish. So if you are a pescatarian... This is perfectly fine, I'm sure. Oh, well, there might be other stuff in it. I heard it was like, like, like bones grown, ground up beef knuckles or something like that. Oh, oh dear. Okay. You know what? Um, deer, too? They've got deer. We're going to do vegetarian episodes of this show, so it's no problem. Okay. We have something for you, too. Or you could just have it with water. What's water? Yeah, just water. The mixer. Water. Oh, you, you just, have it with whiskey. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you could have you could put whiskey in there. That's perfectly vegetarian. There you go. Yeah. Um, and I hear you're trying to foray into YouTube as well, or at least Instagram, with uh, a little show. Absolutely. I'm going to start Tragique's Top Tips. Just the tip. Oh, I love it. So is this going to be life advice for the it children? Life advice for the children. Okay. okay. Like, for example, Tragique's Top Tip. Never stick your chopstick in your friend's eye. That's helpful. That's good. It's good manners. Good, good to live by, too. Uh, it's good to and live I should by. not have pointed my chopsticks at the camera. That is completely rude. Rude. It really is an Asian culture. It really though. is. They might yeah. chop my yeah. hand Don't off. do this either in your rice. Don't put that up like that. No, it never. It looks like incense for dead people. That's, oh. That's right. I heard that. Mm -hmm. I did mm -hmm. hear that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chopstick etiquette 101. Yeah. Yeah. And never stick anything in your mouth that's bigger than an egg roll. <laughs> I take that to heart. I love that. <laughs> that's cute. Sapporo. So, uh, besides the sand pit at the park, uh, where can people find you? Uh, generally in the back alley behind the Crescent Ballroom. After the show, mm -hmm. there's not a lot I won't do for a dollar. I love the Crescent Ballroom. Me too. It's, one of, my, great space. it's one of my favorite places to perform. Um, you'll be able to start finding us there the last Saturday of every month, free in the lounge. That'll be starting in March. Who's us? Uh, the, <laughs> the Dirty Divas. Ooh, so, ooh. me and my mom, Pandora, Miss Jinvi Tinkle, mm -hmm. and then we've got Miss Erica Tour Aviance, yeah. who I adore, and then just a ragtag of crews. It's going to be a sing along, so anybody can oh. come up, be kind of like an, oh, a quinda, quinda. Kind of, <clears throat> like an open mic night. <laughs> Everything's coming up rosy. And? <laughs> and we're actually going to be starting Drag Bingo at Walk and Roll in Scottsdale. Walk and Roll. Yeah, it's going to start Mar uh, March 5th, this coming Thursday. And it looks like Miss Rosie's going to start hosting with Yay. me. I had forgotten all about that. Lost in the whiskey and... Quaaludes. Tequila and Quaaludes of last night. Benny's. <laughs> all of them. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to thank you all for joining us in the kitchen with Rosie this afternoon, evening. Um, I don't know what time it is anymore. I don't either. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Time life means is, nothing to me. Life is meaningless. Do you have any of his Quaaludes left? I do. Excellent. All right. So we're going to say goodbye so we can get to those pills. Uh, I'll see you next time. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> now you sound like me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the it's influence. Good. Subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you should do that. Right? <laughs>